circuit with resistance, inductance and capacitance in series. Here we can see this is a RLC series circuit. This is a resistor, this is inductor and this is capacitor. VR is the voltage drop across this resistor. VL is the voltage drop across this inductor. And VC is the voltage drop across this capacitor. The unit of resistance is Ohm. The unit of inductance is Henry and the unit of capacitance is farads. The current flowing through this circuit is I. Now, Vr is equal to I into R. According to Ohm's law, voltage is equal to current into resistance. Now, Vl is equal to I into Xl. Vc is equal to I into Xc. This Xl is the inductive reactance. Xc is the capacitive reactance. Xl is equal to omega L and Xc is equal to 1 upon omega C. This omega is the angular frequency. Now there will be three possible conditions. Either Xl is greater than Xc or Xl is less than Xc or Xl is equal to Xc. Now when Xl is greater than Xc, the overall behavior of the circuit is similar to RL series circuit. Now when XL is greater than XC, that time voltage drop across inductor is greater than voltage drop across capacitor. Here we can see that when XL is greater then this VL will be greater. This is the phasor diagram for XL is greater than XC. Here we can see this is a I current as a reference. Now VR is the voltage drop across resistor R. So this will be in phase. And VL is greater and VC is smaller. So this will be VL minus VC. Now its resultant will be in leading. So this applied voltage V is leading the current I by angle phi. Now from this phasor diagram we can draw voltage triangle. So this will be V, V as it is. This will be angle phi. So phi as it is. Now this will be equal to this will be equal to this value. So this is VL minus VC. So we have taken VL minus VC because VL is greater than VC. So VL minus VC. Now this is VR. So VR as it is. So this will be our voltage triangle. Now applied voltage is equal to this will be the phasor addition. So V is equal to VR plus VL plus VC. Now if we apply this is a right angle triangle. So we can apply Pythagoras theorem here. This will be hypotenuse, this will be opposite side of triangle, opposite side of this angle and this will be adjacent side. So, hypotenuse square that is V square is equal to VR square plus VL minus VC square. So, V square is equal to VR square plus VL minus VC whole square. So, V is equal to under root of VR square plus VL minus VC whole square. Now we can take I square common. Now when we take I square common, we, we can take the I outside of this under root. So this will be V is equal to I into under root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. Now from this, the value of I will be I is equal to V divided by under root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. Now this will be impedance Z. So I is equal to V by Z. Where Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL minus XC whole square. Now X is positive in case of XL greater than XC. X is positive and circuit is inductive. 
Now second condition when xl is less than xc now when xl is less than xc that time overall behavior of the circuit is similar to rc series circuit now since xl is less than xc so voltage drop across inductor will be less than voltage drop across capacitor this is the phasor diagram for xl less than xc now we have taken this current i as the reference now this vl is smaller as compared to vc so this will be vc minus vl and this will be phase angle phi so the resultant voltage will be like this it is lagging lagging this current i now from this we can draw voltage triangle so this value will be equal to vc minus vl this value will be equal to this value so here we can see this is vr so vr as it is this is applied voltage v so this v as it is and this will be vc minus vl now if we apply pythagoras theorem here so this will be hypotenuse so hypotenuse square is equal to vr square plus vc minus vl square so v square is equal to vr square plus vc minus vl whole square so v is equal to under root of vr square plus vc minus vl whole square so v is equal to under root of this vr can be replaced by i into r so i into r whole square then this will be i xc and this will be i into xl we can take again i square common then if we simplify this so this will be v is equal to i under root of r square plus xl minus xc minus xl whole square so from this i is equal to v divided by r square plus xc minus xl whole square now this will be impedance z so i is equal to v by z where z is equal to under root of r square plus xc minus xl whole square so this z is the impedance now in case of xl less than xc x is negative and circuit is capacitive now third condition when xl is equal to xc now when xl is equal to xc so this xl vl is equal to vc we can say voltage drop across inductor is equal to voltage drop across capacitor now this vr will be in phase with this current and resultant is zero so v is equal to vr now v is equal to vr is i into r so from this i is equal to v by r vl and vc cancel each other and the resultant is zero now here when xl is equal to xc that time x is zero and circuit is purely resistive in general for rlc series circuit impedance is given by z is equal to r plus jx and x is equal to xl minus xc is equal to total reactance of circuit so here we can see when xl is equal to xc that time x is zero and circuit is purely resistive and when xl is less than xc that time x is negative and circuit is capacitive now when xl is greater xl is greater than xc that time x is positive and circuit is inductive